sounds like your days are really <laughs> tense. How do you find balance between your work life and your personal life? Um, they always say like, leave it, leave it at work. I'm not that person. I will come home and just like complain. <laughs> um, no, not really, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can take it home too much sometimes. Um, and I am that type of person where if someone at work is like, texting me or, Hey, can you do this? Can you do this? And I'm already off work. I will do it. And I realized I'm like, this isn't how, you know, some people aren't so obsessed if that's, you know, yeah. um, fair to say. And so I've been trying to cut back of like, once I clock out, I clock out, like <laughs> no more work. Um, and so I guess, you know, I've been setting boundaries and I feel like that's hard for everybody, but especially with work for me, because I love what I do. It's, it's harder. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah, I can imagine too. Cause I mean, you're, you're really into your job and you're really into NASA and, and the mission that it both stands for and what you strive to, to reach in, in your own life and curiosity. So you want to be as helpful as possible for sure but then for you to do your job you have to be operating at your highest level and if you're yes. not getting enough rest or balance in your life then you can't you can't give that right for sure and you said it so much nicer than i did um you know i've gotten texts at three four in the morning and the shift i'm on is i have to be at work by 5 45 in the morning. And so I'm sleep, like I am out at that point. And I'll wake up at five to these texts and I'm like, oh no, like I feel responsible, you know? And some people don't feel that. And I'm, you know, I guess that's just work-life balance, figuring out like- Yeah, you're figuring it out. This is, this is not your problem, <laughs> you know, type. Um, so. So what's, uh, the last time we talked, you had like afternoons available uh and then you're what what does your circadian rhythm uh <laughs> what what is that like oh man yeah so i was on night shift in september october i went to seconds or swings which is like 2 to 10 and then i went to first shift which is 5:45 to 2 um and when you're hopping every month it's like, it's crazy. Um, and you just have to get used to it. Like by the time you get used to it, they're like, and you're going to the shift. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God. Um, but since November, I've been on first shift and I've asked, I'm like, just keep me on first shift. Like I will go to bed at 8 PM. I don't care. <laughs> just keep me on one shift. Um, and so I've gotten used to it, but I have to go to bed. I have to go to bed by nine like, like in bed at nine, otherwise I combust. So. so what, what does that look like? If it's still like bright outside, how do you. <laughs> I have blackout yeah. curtains. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What do you do before bed? Do you read it all or journal or do anything? Yeah, I read. Um, I drink tea, hot tea. Um, okay. What kind of tea? That's about it. Usually like chamomile or like something fruity but um, something sweet and hot and knocks me out. <laughs> so will they keep you on first shift or no? They'll be like, thanks for the, thanks for the tip cat, but we're going <laughs> to move you around. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, usually, you know, they're pretty good about keeping you on a shift that you like. And if you're being productive enough and helpful and you're, churning out good evaluations from these sims then it's fine um if you're a little more not so productive then they'll be like put them on another shift <laughs> yeah see what happens um so hopefully i've been doing well 